Okay. As far as NEP 2020 uh, is concerned, these are some of the major uh, recommendations for uh, NEP 2020. So without any uh, digital infrastructure, the actualization of digital education is uh, not uh, possible. And Diksha in that context is being envisaged as one nation, one digital platform. And it is uh, a digital infrastructure for knowledge sharing. So we uh, have this uh, infrastructure built for knowledge sharing through online mode. And uh, apart from this, we also need to have digital infrastructure, some bare minimum infrastructure in different forms across uh, different schools and teacher education institutions also. That also is meant by this particular aspect, so, uh, aspect of NEP 2020. Then we uh, also need to have portals, apps and tools which uh, should be NDEAR compliant. And in the uh, later phase, Dr. Rizal will be throwing, throwing more uh, light on what is NDER and how uh, NDER compliance can be tested through the sandbox facility, which is there on the uh, Then it is also one of the recommendations of NEP 2020 that we need to have quality digital resources for school and teacher education because we cannot actualize the goal of digital education without having uh, multiple quality quality resources in multiple languages because India is a multilingual society and having uh, resources in one or two languages say for Hindi and English will not suffice to uh, make the digital education possible for the entire country and right now we have uh, resources uh, Diksha support resources in more than 36 uh, languages but we need to have uh, them in more and more 